Andrew, if you look around college football, I think Georgia may have the biggest separation of any division in college football. They are the team, and nobody's in the same league right now. South Carolina is maybe the closest right now on paper, but Florida's got the potential to be very quickly. So Dan Mullen's situation there at Florida. Yeah, I think for Dan, I mean, if he can replicate the success he had, Mark, in, in Starkville with the two to three star recruits that he had with four and five star guys in Florida, why buckle up? Because he's going to have some fun. He's going to be able to develop guys. He's going to. We see that in some of the talent he's already brought down to Gainesville. So, um, you know, I, I I go back and look at what the SEC East was was kind of like how SEC basketball was over probably you know the last two to three years, where there was one or two really good teams, Kentucky being that team, and normally Arkansas, and everybody else was kind of meh. And and I think for football, much like how basketball's gotten a lot better. This new breed of coaches that we're going to have is only going to raise the, the the boat. And I think Dan going to Gainesville was a perfect fit. I, I'm 100% much happier that he took that job and not Chip Kelly. Because I, I just don't think the Chip Kelly to Florida um, thing would have been as nearly as good of a fit for Florida. And I don't think it's as good of a fit for Chip Kelly. I think UCLA is a lot better of a fit. So Dan knows the conference. He knows how to recruit. He knows how to develop players. Uh, I would not be shocked. Remember, Georgia loses a lot of players. Sony Michelle, Roquan Smith, um, Nick Chubb. I mean, they lose a ton of, of different players. So while you know they still have Jake Fromm and some talent, they had a good recruiting class, I'm not sure if the Georgia slash Florida slash South Carolina uh, chasm is, is as deep as everybody thinks. Funny that we talked about Butch Jones and the way it ended there at Tennessee. Jim McElwain was kind of the same way at Florida. It just didn't seem like that ever meshed down there. If you check out the uh, uh, Gators Breakdown podcast, you know the best Gators coverage there. Uh, Dave Waters will tell you that. Uh, so I think the fans in, in Gainesville are very refreshed uh, with Dan Mullen. He, he's a Florida guy; he's been there before, uh, and they see what he did with quarterbacks at, at Mississippi State. Dak Prescott, Nick Fitzgerald, uh, and and they think he can get another top quality quarterback there at Florida. Florida's went several years now without a quarterback who uh, uh, who again reached his potential and really was a game changer on the field. So I think that's the, the that's the hope of Florida fans that Dan Mullen can get another top quarterback, a, a top performing quarterback, not just a a top potential quarterback, but a top performing quarterback there in Gainesville to go along with a defense that always seems uh, to be really good. Uh, so Gator fans are excited about that again they finished better recruiting but not really where they want it to be so very similar situation in Gainesville I think as there is in Knoxville uh, with the new coaches with a coaching change of course Dan Mullins a little bit more um, uh, seasoned uh, because he has the head coaching experience at Mississippi State but but I, I think those two situations are fairly similar uh, with with respect to the fan bases their expectations uh, and and things like that